So let's talk about the dome door and window sensors today on Rick's Gadgets. What I want to do today is cover the dome door and window sensor. This is a really inexpensive sensor. It's about $20 on Amazon. It's one of the cheapest ones I've seen in a while. And what I want to do is I want to see how it stacks up to some more of the, the expensive ones. I've got some $35 ones roughly that I'm using now. And I'd like to see what kind of performance this gives, range, and so forth. I can't do the battery life because it'll take a, a while. I know usually they last for about a year, the batteries on these. So uh, what I want to do today is show you how this is paired up with the Z-Wave uh, interface and add it into HomeSeer and show you how to, to go in and create uh, the device actually within HomeSeer. So let's cut over and I'll show you what's inside the box and uh, then I'll show you the steps to get it paired up. So in the box, we're just gonna have the, really two parts. Um, you're gonna have the sensor itself and you're gonna have the magnetic reed switch. And you'll get a set of directions as well as a set of screws to attach it to your door or window. So as far as the sensor goes, there's a little tab here that you can push in and you'll get access to the, well, let it focus, there you go. And you'll get access to the, the battery. It's got the little tab on it you'll have to pull. And there's gonna be a button here and that button is what's gonna be used for the uh, including it to the Z-Wave network. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab my um, Z-Wave sensor and I'll show you how the pairing process. So to pair it up, I'm going to pull the tab and it's going to have the LED light blinking. So what they're, they're saying is to put your device into pair mode and press the button three times and that will do the include. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the... So with this in the pair mode, I'm going to press this button three times and get it into to pair up with the device. And you can see the lights flashing on both devices. The Z-Wave stick will go back to a steady blink once it's finished. And that is it. So this is ready to be added into... Um, to your system. So what I'll do is I'll plug this back into HomeSeer, my machine, and show you how to do the include process. So once you get into HomeSeer, you're going to go to your plugins page in your Z-Wave management, and you're going to come up to your Z-Wave interfaces. And here I'm going to go to my Z-Stick, that's what I have it named. And to go over this again, I, I'll put a, a, a link to my other video on how the Z-Wave interface works. Um, I've given uh, details on, on the setup and the use of it, so I'll put it up in the top corner there. Um, but from here, what you want to do is we want to go down to the Z-Stick and go to Actions. And what we're going to do is Import New Devices. So we'll click on the Import and Start. And what it's going to do is it's going to start looking through. And as you can see, it's saying one node has been created. So it found 27 nodes and that should be everything within my system so it's still loading here so we'll give it a few minutes and it's just going to scan everything and make sure there's no other devices to be added so this is just one of the problems you can run into adding z-wave devices here we got a warning and what happened was it failed to get the information for the new node our new node is going to be 54 so I'm glad that that uh, first time that I tried to add the node failed um, because it brings up a good point. Sometimes with these devices you have to go in and factory reset them because I guess testing them in the factories, they test them to a network and if it's already paired with a network it will not pair with yours. So what I did was I just read the directions, you hold down the button for 10 seconds on the sensor and after 10 seconds the light will flash showing you that it's been set to a factory default. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try the second pairing option with HomeSeer and here what I want to do is come in and I'm going to do add include a node and I'm going to start and once that's started and I'm within range of my sensor 
I'm going to do three times on the button just like we did and it's going to add an, a new node and we've added 57 and this time it was a success so as you can see I mean these things are really tricky sometimes and if it doesn't fail and if it fails to add just remember that resetting to factory defaults that usually does the trick every time so now that we've got it added I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna go over to my home screen and this is one thing that I really, really wish Tom here would change a little bit when you add a node it doesn't show up in your list by default so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncheck all just so we can go down and quickly see my node 57 here so we're gonna click on it and now as you can see everything shows up and and what I'll do is I will go through and rename these uh, the status um, like I said I always do my battery because um, as I sort the field this is just one little tip that I do I always do battery and battery this way when I sort it it shows up under my battery list and what I'll do is I'll go in there and name this, but I'm just going to show you. I'm going to take the sensor here, and I'm going to move it away, and you can see it change state. So everything works great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to do my little project on the uh, the mailbox. It's going to really test the range of this device um, because it's going to be about 30 feet from the house. So I'm hoping that this uh, the distance will make it. So uh, I will report back and let you know how that goes. So I appreciate you stopping by Rick's Gadgets today. We're gonna see how this little sensor does. What I'm gonna do is, I, like I said, I got a project for it. I think I'm gonna use it uh, for a monitor on my mailbox. So what I'll do is I'll do a short video on it, how I get it mounted and uh, use it within my system. But anyway, I appreciate you stopping by today. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't so already, and I look forward to seeing you come back again. Thanks and have a great day.